What I've learned in our sport is to definitely balance out what makes you happy. Because if you're not happy, you're not going to be your best. I've proved that I can hang with anybody, I can knock out anybody, and fans want to watch me fight. I started doing Kung Fu when I was about 15 and a half. The one thing that drew me into like Kung Fu was just the history and the lineage that comes with Kung Fu. Hey, Sivu. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. I just remember he was a big kid <laughs> more than anything else. He had a good heart too, that's what one part. When I, in Kung Fu, you don't just teach anybody off the street, you know, he was really good in tournaments. I could see he was frustrated in a martial art tournament because he always wanted to do more, and he was very limited in the rules. One of my first trophies is right here, 1995, it was sparring, and I remember getting disqualified uh, in the regular team sparring because I drew blood. Roy is kind of that working man's fighter. Uh, first of all, I love the hair. I had that same haircut in the 90s when I was at Oklahoma State. Maybe it was a little more in vogue then than it is now, but that's Roy. Roy's a great big guy, and you can't judge a book by its cover. You take a look at Roy and think, man, this guy can't fight at all. But when you start rolling with him and you start sparring with him and you realize, holy hell, this guy can actually move. You better watch out for the right hand. It's an amazing thing. That's why the fans love him. They can relate to that guy. We're at Rolling Smoke and we're doing my favorite training right now, and that's eating. You gotta have some fun because you're a heavyweight, so you get to you get to cheat a little bit. Oh, I love it. This is a big country sampler, and we got these things called corn nuggets. And these are the awesomest thing in the world. So it's like a chicken nugget, but then it pops with corn. But the best is the meatloaf brisket. You gotta have protein, because that's the fuel that you need to get big and strong and to be a heavyweight. And then loaded mashed potatoes, you know, because you need your carbs. I'm ready to fight whoever, whenever, um, and I don't care what size, because if you think you're better than me, you're not. One thing that I've been blessed with is, you know, being a professional fighter, a uh, professional athlete is is allowed me to become a better businessman um, because it allows me to do things that I've always wanted to do. Daddy, don't put it too tight, which way. Not too tight? No, look. For me, Hot Car Tours is really simple. Go! It's amazing tours with food. It's one of my many businesses that I have in my portfolio. It's something that I can actually do with my son. Like, uh, he loves, he's like, Dad, we're we gonna do some hot cars. And I'm like, yeah, and he's like, oh, dude, they're so fast. I'm running the home. He's a wild man. Um, uh, he's already had stitches, broken arms, but he loves the scooters just because, you know, when you look up, you, everything just looks so huge. So I get to see what he gets to see from uh, kind of his point of view. I try not to have anything that kind of just defines me, but things that make me whole are like my son, my wife, my family, my friends. It's pretty much us versus the world. In life, it doesn't even matter if it's, you know, fighting or anything. As long as I'm a happy, you know, happy-go-lucky, then I can just go out there and just, you know, be me. And I just like putting on exciting fights. If I was a fan, what would I want to see? That's why I always try to go for the knockout. That's why I always try to go for the finish. One thing about, you know, the belt toward belt being vacant, um, I'm ready to get up there and seize it. But first, I got to get through Javi, and then, and then after that, it's, you know, it's open season. <laughs>